Hi friends, in CSS, for many use cases, we can achieve the end result through different ways. But we need to understand the consequences behind each approach. In this video, we are going to discuss about changing the level of transparency of an element through different options. I have a container div for which I have added a background image and height 600 pixel. Let me create two divs with class name as box. For the box class, I am adding a width of 150 pixel and a height of 150 pixel. I am also going to add a background color so that we can see the boxes. For that, I am adding classes box1 and box2. And adding background color using RGB function. We are able to see them now. Let me add some transparency to the first box using opacity. We can see the background picture through the div. For the second box, instead of opacity, let me add transparency using RGBA function itself. Now also we are able to see the background picture through the div. So we achieve the end result using different approaches. But there are side effects. Let me add few texts inside. Box 1 and box 2. Let me increase the font size and make it bold. Are you seeing the difference? When we use opacity, it will be applied to the child elements as well. But when we use RGBA function, it will not be applied to the child elements. This is applicable to border also. Let me add a border to the box class. Now it is clear. So based on your requirement, Decide which one you need to use, opacity or RGBA function. I hope it is clear now. Please leave your comments and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.